They carried a sewing basket between them out to the small grove of sapling trees behind the house and sat down on a fallen tree that Joss had placed for seating. They spread out the material in Margaret's scrap bag in order to find pieces that went together, working diligently to piece a quilt and take their minds off Kathleen's troubles. As they worked and talked about life as a homesteader in the wilds of Montana, neither lady noticed the figure that was headed to the barn, his focus on the horses inside. He slipped in unnoticed and moved large bales of hay in front of the stall doors, barricading the unsuspecting animals in their wooden compartments. With only second to spare before he could flee, he overturned a container of lamp oil in the barn, then put a match to it, igniting the straw-lined floors before turning and running out the back opening of the large building. It was only a matter of minutes before the shrieks of the frightened horses made both ladies look up. "'Max! The barn! Look!' Kathleen cried, pointing to the smoke that gushed forth from the open windows above the hayloft. She took off running, ignoring Margaret's pleas for her to come back. "'Kathleen! You cannot! You mustn't go in there!' She cried, throwing down her fabric and chasing after her. "'We've got to save the horses! We cannot just let them burn!' She yelled back over her shoulder, picking up the pace and racing towards the fire. Kathleen threw open the double doors and was knocked backwards by a wall of heat and smoke. It stung her eyes and blinded her, forcing her to squeeze her eyes shut. Instead of fighting the intense pain in her eyes, she crawled forwards towards the sound of the crying animals, feeling her way along the floor by following the trail of hay. When she could finally open her eyes, she could only see black smoke rolling over her, blocking out any other view. She pressed forward, the crackling sound of wood beams splintering under the heat ringing in her ears. The nearest horse to her kicked his stall in an effort to free himself, giving her just enough clarity to turn in his direction. She put her hand out and found the solid wall of wood in front of her, then moved sideways, pressing her hand against the grain in order to find the latch. Fortunately, the latch was no more than a simple loop of leather slung over a metal hook, but even that small piece of metal was enough to sear her palm. She jerked her hand back in surprise before pulling the sleeve from her dress down over her hand and trying again. She lifted it to open the door and was shoved to the side again as a massive stallion barreled past her, his great brown eyes trained on the sunlight that came through the open door. Kathleen stood mute for a moment, certain that there was another horse. How many had just told her he'd sold? But he was riding one horse. Was Declan on his own horse? Or had he walked over with Joss that morning and borrowed a horse from the trip into town? She fought to remember, wasting precious seconds of breath as she tried to figure out how many animals were left. A whining cry told her what she needed to know. She kept her hand on the stall and moved towards the sound of the fearsome neigh, ignoring the pain in her arms that told her she was already burning. She looked down to where her sleeve should be, but through the smoky blackness all she could see was the embers burning brightly, telling her that a clothes had caught. She slapped at the bright orange glow until she couldn't see it anymore, then pressed on, intent on saving the other horse. 